Hello everyone, Clint here. Hope everybody is doing great today. Let's start off with our first fitness test, the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Let's go running. All right, guys, we're going to do the first run of the new Galaxy Watch Ultra. It's going to be an outdoor run. I haven't quite decided how far I'm going to run yet, but I'm going to have the Garmin Epix 2 as the reference device today. Yeah, let's see what we get today. I'm pretty excited to try it out. So far, all other workouts I've been doing have been a significant improvement. So we'll see what we got here. Let's see, we got a battery life right now of 38%. We'll see how much juice we use. I am going to be using full LTE and GPS. Everything's going to be happening. So should be interesting. Guys, Let's check it we out. We are done. We got four miles uh, over. 37 minutes, 37 and a half minutes for four miles. And these were almost right on, guys. So I don't uh, I think this is gonna be pretty good. We will uh, we will check this out later. Uh, once I get the other phones all connected, we'll check out the data, see how it goes. Before I forget real quick, before I forget, uh, we are at 19%. And that was with streaming YouTube music and full GPS for 37 and a half minutes. So not too bad. I think it's going to do pretty good. So right on. Thanks guys. Okay guys, we are back in the studio. Let's go ahead and take a look at these numbers here in comparison. I can get a little bit closer. Okay, a little bit closer here so we can take a look. Workout details, basic workout details here. Uh, workout duration. Um, average pace was 9 minutes 19. 9.21 on the um, Garmin. Uh, average heart rate 143 on the Galaxy and 147 on the Garmin, uh, which I think that's a little bit interesting there. And total calories. Uh, where the heck is total calories on the... I don't know where it's at. Let's pop that open here. Total calories 498, 557. That's pretty good. That's not too bad at all, I don't think. Um not bad at all. Of course, we got four miles, 4.01. They did hit four miles at almost exactly the same time, which I was pretty impressed with, actually. Um, I just, uh, you know, trying to shut them off at the same time. Uh, I get the <clears throat> 6,130 steps. I do not believe the Garmin gives you the data for the steps. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of things here. Um, speed, 6.4 miles per hour. That is accurate. Uh, max speed 7.4 this one says nine i don't know where it gets nine from that's that's not right i definitely wasn't i didn't kick it up that fast at all uh no definitely not uh elevation gain was 60 feet uh where the heck's elevation gain here there we go so elevation gain on the garmin was 72 feet 60 feet um 64 feet for the descent uh, lowest elevation, 4,658, so we were off here by about 20 feet anyways. Uh, here uh, in Colorado, we're a little bit high up in the air. Um, and then average heart rate, uh, which was in, um, 147, uh, 143. Now, what happened here, and I'm not sure exactly what happened. We'll uh, definitely do a few more tests, but... For some reason, the Galaxy towards the beginning had a, a really low heart rate for a few minutes uh, before it kicked in and got squared away. Um, and I think that's probably why this one shows a little bit lower uh, than the, the Garmin because when I was checking them as I was running, they were within one to two beats of each other, which was uh, fantastic. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the map here real quick. Um, let's see. Oops. So we got, let's look at the map. And you can see here, the map looks pretty darn uh, close to the same. Uh, I didn't see anything too odd here. And like I said, the, the um, distance was almost exactly four miles. They both hit four miles at exactly the same uh, time. So, uh, so far, so good. I'm really digging this so far. Like I said, I've done a bunch of uh, regular workouts, like lifting, weightlifting workouts. And I have been super impressed so far with the... 
uh, heart rate sensor on here compared to my Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Uh, I think whatever um, Samsung did to this one, it is a gigantic improvement so far. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll I'll, uh, I'll continue on, get, get a form, few more fitness videos in here for you guys so we can see what we do. Uh, as you saw there, I was at 19%, so I lost about 20% in that run. But like I said, I was on LTE. I was not attached to my phone, and I was streaming uh, YouTube music to my headphones uh, from the watch during the entire run. So 20% in four miles. I am totally good with that because I do run a lot uh, without my phone. Usually that's the reason why I always had my uh, Apple Watch Ultra was just because of that that particular part because of the LTE so I usually always carried it on me uh, but now I've for the first time I have ever switched to a Galaxy Watch LTE um, you know they've not been super great in the past where they've overheated and stuff this one ran flawlessly it was not a super cool day uh, probably at least 80 degrees while I was running um, so or 65 degrees sorry it was 65 degrees at the start of the run uh, probably ended the run a little bit after seven, a uh, little bit past 70 degrees at 76 now. So, yeah, thumbs up for Galaxy Watch Ultra. I'm super excited uh, to be able to continue using this. And uh, there'll be a full fitness review, my version of a full fitness review, coming soon. See you on the next one.